Pisdeck Institute. Now let's take a look at uh, quarterly compounding. So again, I want to have a um, present value of $1,000. Uh, now the interest rate is going to be one-fourth that because instead of annual compounding, I'm going to compound quarterly. So I can just simply take my old interest rate and divide it by four because there are four compounding periods in uh, one year. And uh, instead of two years of compounding period, I'm going to have uh, four times that many quarters, and so we'll just do it this way. Uh, and there are eight periods, of course. And now I'm going to click the uh, function list, and I'm going to type um, the same future value. Oh, I guess I can simply select the same future value um, function because that's what I'm after here as well. And now my rate is uh, the 0.025% or 2.5%. So I choose that. Uh, the number of periods, simply the 8, the next cell over. Uh, the present value, which was again $1,000. And I will tell the uh, computer that I'm finished and it's. Then, of course, I'll correct the minus sign again. And you see that you'll have somewhat more return when you have eight uh, compounding periods rather than two.